Hey there. How's it going? Well, in this video, I'm just going to be ranting about some of the differences between OS 10 and Windows, about some things that I've have finally caught up and I'm finally getting frustrated. Um, and I've been moving most of my productivity back to Windows again. Um, I know that there are certain, I, I, with my particular hardware, there are some strange glitches and there are certain pieces of software I can't install or it will cause my CPU to run at 99% uh, all the time and uninstalling the program won't help. So that, and that would be, um, there's uh, LibreOffice um, and there's uh, iTunes, which I don't know why I'd want to install that unless you know it has to do with moving files with this, but I stopped bothering even trying that. Because most of the files I want to move aren't even... They're not... They're not things that having iTunes helps. In order to move the video files and pictures, you have to have a Mac. You know, you, you can't you can't really do it through iTunes. So, um, because that's how Apple wants it. Um, but uh, yeah, the reason why I made this change is because I decided to try Adobe Premiere. CS6 on Windows, which I had been using on uh, OS 10 for a while, and I wanted to see how much more efficient it might be, because I was finding some strange, some things that were just not running to my, to what I believe my hardware is capable of, and uh, so some videos that, so I'm using a bunch of effects that on OS 10 to render the video would have taken five hours you know four between four and five hours it was uh, well for instance that that last video that I did uh, walking through the forest at what something Hyde Park um, yeah that would have taken four hours on OS 10 and guess how long it took on Windows one hour and that was while I was playing Second Life in the background didn't get a very good frame rate in Second Life while it was doing that but still it took one hour to process that video I'm like okay well it's time for me to start moving a lot of my stuff back over so and even in Second Life okay in Second Life there are places that I could get it would be capable of displaying 130 frames a second um, and on OS 10 same place would give me 45 to 50 frames a second yeah that dramatic of a difference um, Skype had some strange bugs going on now that I can't blame on the on the OS but still I mean things like the notifications weren't working quite right and it, recent wasn't working right I had to add certain people to favorites because I could have just had a conversation with them and then exit Skype and then when I come back they're not there in recents in fact, sometimes people that I hadn't talked to in a couple months would show up at the top of recents. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> you know. Then there's uh, then there's uh, open broadcasting software. Um, I could rarely, rarely get 60 frames per second out of it on the Mac on on OS 10. It just didn't really want to handle that. Um, there's no fraps for OS 10 so 
just about any, any of the 3D games, you can't really record at 60 frames a second. You could do 30 frames a second max because you could use like OBS to do it, right? Um, it's like, really? <laughs> and there's uh, stuff like uh, this. This is my uh, LifeCam Studio. It's a 1080p uh, webcam. But on OS 10, it's a 720p webcam, and you can't adjust anything on it unless you pay for software. And the software may be cheap, but you still have to pay for some software. I did. Uh, simple things like uh, being able to uh, adjust, truly adjust the properties of your mouse. You know, turning off acceleration. On Windows, they call it... Um, let me just go to it so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. There. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to the control panel. And we'll go to mouse. Okay. And on this, you say you, you uncheck enhance point of precision. And I never understood why they call it enhance the precision because it actually does the opposite of that, but that's what they wanted to call it for some reason. Um, but you can't do that without using some piece of software that completely overrides uh, the max normal properties for the mouse. So you're stuck with this acceleration where I mean, they want you to use their pointing devices. So, you know, you either can move this fast or... But the worst part is the scroll wheel. They put acceleration on the scroll wheel. So you're trying to scroll through a web page, and, and you can either go like... It's just like, come on, guys. And of course, the Apple fanboys are like, "Oh, this is one. This is. I don't have any problem with it." Yeah. Well, it's because you. Anyway, they don't know the difference, right? These. Okay. To use this, to use this joystick, which is a standard joystick. It may be a Microsoft product, but it's a pretty fucking standard joystick. You have to buy software. Again. So many things you have to buy software. There's there's very few free things you can get for it. Um, now, I, like there, like when I talked about Fraps, right? There may be something. And and Fraps isn't free, but it's not that expensive either. But there may be some two hundred dollar program you can get for OS ten that will let you, you know, record games at sixty frames a second. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but you know, I'm just not. I'm just not very impressed with 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 OS X anymore. Now, there's one area that I, like I said I'm I'm doing putting everything back to Windows except for music software, and that's where OS X excels. With with spades in spades, okay. Windows audio sucks. It does. Windows audio sucks. There is always a major latency issue. You know, games don't utilize these things that are ne necessary for for music software, okay? So, most of the time in order to, I mean, no, pretty much all the time in order to get decent throughput on Windows with audio for with audio uh, music software, you have to use ASIO drivers. Well, these ASIO drivers still get, ha, it's still double the latency that you get on OS X. OS X just excels massively with audio. No doubt about it. The only reason why I was even I even was able to switch back to Renoise and being able to enter notes live while the song is playing is because of OS X. 
Okay, on Windows, you put the ASIO on it. No matter how you enter the notes, it's still delayed. It's still off timing. You know, nothing you can do about it. So, OS X excels in spades with audio. No doubt about it. So, you know. But that's really it. There were a number of things that I kind of, I really missed about Windows, like um, even simple things like uh, let me make this really small. Being able to double click the top here, and oh yes, oh look, it's a anyway. Um, being able to do something like that, where it opens it up, basically full screen, but it's not full full screen. I mean, it's still has the the menus it still has all the other stuff but it's not um you know uh, on OS 10 now it does have the advantage of being able to truly go full screen with a lot of the newer apps but if you expand a window full like you do on on Windows it's still a window you could still take the top of it and drag it around so you know, I'm just trying to pull, use the scroller bar on the right side with Chrome, and oops, I grabbed the window. Up, oh, it moved the whole thing again. You know, that sort of thing happens a lot. Um, and really, you know, one of the things that I thought was cool about, well, I don't have enough pieces of software running to make this worthwhile, but let's just look at it anyway. Um, you know, you've got this, this mo these modes. Uh, I forgot what it's called now. It's not Action Center. It's uh, anyway. You've got this this thing on the Mac. Um, you can just set the quick keys for it. Um, on uh, when you have one of their special devices, you can uh, you can hold two fingers down, or is it three fingers down? And you you drag it down, and bam, you're in this this mode, right? Uh, mission control, I think, is what it's called. And uh, but on Windows, on the new versions of Windows, on 10, you can do hold Windows key, tap tab, and bam, you're there. So it's the same thing. Um. So I don't know. Everything that used to be better about the Mac is not really anymore. Windows already has those kinds of options now. And I don't like the way that that Microsoft is handling updates now. Um, I don't like it at all. But I must say Windows 10 is way, way faster than Windows 7. Way faster. Night and day difference in speed and even in frame rates in games. I mean, it is just faster. Now, they don't contain the codecs anymore to play a lot of different media files, so you have to get, like, VLC to play a lot of stuff, and VLC has its problems, a lot of problems. Uh, like, for instance, when you do go to full screen mode, it, it rarely gives you the you know, the little the transport thing, it rarely gives you that. It, it just disappears. You can't access it. Um, it takes a while to find the settings so it doesn't leave this little notification. Oh, look, you changed songs. Let's put a notification up. You know, ah, you know, just, just play my media, you know. Um, but it's, it plays everything. So, only disadvantage, really, to VLC is... It will not play 60i, 60 frames per second interlaced videos correctly. Instead of playing each frame, it combines the two half frames into 30 frames a second. So it plays 30 frames a second and you see the, 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 the lines separate from each other. You know, I've mentioned it on some forums, but it seems they don't really care about that and that's all right. It's open source, and you got to expect that out of open source software. Usually, they don't care about that sort of thing. Just like, no matter what you complain about about GIMP, 
they won't do anything about. So it's open source. You got to expect it to them to not care about those sorts of things. But it works. So um, let's see. Yeah, in news about about Apple, I don't know if you've seen. Wow, this video is long now already. Um, I don't know if you've seen yet, but um, the iPhone is struggling now in sales. They're they're meeting a tiny fraction of the expected sales they were they were hoping to get, and you know they're not keeping up with things. They they actually they're convinced Apple is convinced that oh Retina, I'm sorry Retina is not good enough for these. Okay, Android devices have, have way surpassed them for a long time on these screens, you know. On a screen on something this size, you should be able to get 1080p, and it shouldn't be based on on uh, backlit LCDs. It should be OLED. OLED is superior. It's superior technology, and they should have switched to it to quite a while back, but they didn't. Retina. Look, people, Retina, Apple logo. How? Oh, that's so wonderful. You know, it's just it's Apple. Apple fans are kind of that way. So, <laughs> I just realized my video is probably going to be kind of quiet on the sound. I made a version of this previous, and it was distorted. So I didn't want it to be distorted, but I I guess it's I've overcompensated a little bit. Sorry about the volume. Um. So. You know, and then there's, there's, they have the OS so locked down on these things that, like, if you get a, a third-party keyboard, Apple has purposely made it so you can't, uh, you can't uh, go to dictation. You have to hit the world icon, go to their keyboard, then you can hit dictation. You know, and the dictation is something I use a lot. So... Um, and they don't let you they, they won't let the companies do cursor keys for some reason you're supposed to use their option they have where you hold hold it down there you get a little magnifier and you move it around this way and it's really not that efficient and your finger gets in, in the way of you seeing what you're doing and all that sort of thing right so you know uh But these devices are good for those that are not tech savvy. If you just want something that's simple to use, you don't want to have to worry about many settings or preferences, these are good. These are good. And if you don't have the kind of eyesight to be able to even see 1080p, it doesn't bother you that it's, that it's less than that. Um, then yeah, these will do you just fine. These, these are fine. but. We can see by this, their sales that they're not doing so well. Um, one more problem with these things is software updates make these things crawl. When I got this, and I don't regret getting this because at least I, I truly know the differences between OS, I mean iOS and 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 uh, and Android. But um, when this was running eight point can't remember what it was, 8.6 or something, um, it zoomed. And then 9.0.0 came out, and it was much slower, though they finally did some, oh, look, it's revolutionary. They advertise it like this. Oh, look, when it's lowercase, the keys show as lowercase, and when it's uppercase, the keys show as uppercase. Like, like that's some great revelation, right? Um, they should have done that a long time ago. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff started slowing down. Now they're on 9.2.1, and still just as slow. This thing does this. This thing kind of sucks. And Google's products on these kind of suck now too. Uh, the new Google Plus on this, um, every ten seconds it pauses for about 
eight seconds. Literally, you can't scroll, you can't do anything with it. It just, it's just like, so. <laughs> wow, this video is long. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but there's something more I want to talk about just a little bit is uh, Microsoft. I uh, read through the rumor mill that, I mean, I heard it quite a while back already that Windows 10, they plan on making the last version of Windows, but I never really heard much about what their next plans are. And recently I heard through the rumor mill, so don't quote me on this, that they're planning on making an OS that's not Windows, that's primarily cloud-based. Now, we already know they're pretty draconian about what you store in their cloud. So they're going to make an OS that's primarily cloud-based? What, so they get to dictate what you do with your with your uh, operating system? That's going to go over like a lead balloon. Um, if people didn't like Vista and people didn't like 8, uh, this next move of theirs is really not going to go very well. Um, I mean, they just expect people to just dump everything they've ever used on Windows and just kind of dump it. If that's really their plan, I mean, how the hell are they expecting to survive that? That'll be, if they do that, Linux will, Linux use will increase exponentially. And if that happens, maybe a, companies like Adobe and Propellerhead and Steinberg and a whole bunch of uh, major software makers will start to offer their stuff on uh, Linux. Um... And you know, really, that is, that's one of the only things holding Linux back, is the lack of paid, decent paid creative software on Linux. That's really the main thing holding it back. If those things started to become available for Linux, I mean, I'd, I'd switch in a heartbeat. I'd switch to Linux like that, you know? Um, so, now if Microsoft does what they are saying, that the rumor mill says they're going to do, that would be a perfect opportunity for Apple to officially release their OS for non-Apple hardware. Now, that they'd probably still want to do the thing of, uh, well, if you're using non-Apple hardware, we can't give you official support, but, but we're not going to try to stop you from installing it, right? Um, but as I talked about earlier in this video, if their OS runs that less efficiently, why would someone want to, you know, unless they're a musician? So, uh, this video is long enough, so I'm going to end the video. And I'm about to do the count, the six second countdown because when I have things set up the way that I that I need to on this to keep the video from being completely out of sync of the audio. Um, it's six seconds at the end, or it cuts off the end of the video. So, six.